Hi, welcome to the Lizard Evolution Lab. Um, you already saw this video, so we're going to skip that. Um, and here's what you're going to do. You're going to measure the color of the dewlaps of these lizards by moving this slider around. And I've already done this. And what you need to do, since the color of that dewlap varies in the center and along the edges, is move the slider along both for the top part or the center part actually, and then for the bottom part, and you'll see there's numbers over there. I better change that back. <clears throat> and then it gives an average dewlap color of the whole dewlap. So I did this for the 10 lizards, and here are my results. Now, you don't need, the only thing you need to calculate is the average you don't need to worry about the standard deviation or the 95% confidence interval. So when you see this table, um, you can put your average in there. You don't have to, but you should calculate it. Click Save and Continue. And then it gives you a comparison table. Up top is where you would have entered your information. And then down below is the real data that the scientists did in doing the same exact thing that you were doing or, or, that, or that you're going to do. So to see their results graphically, you could graph your results, but we don't have time to do that. So just click continue. And then you could build your graph by sliding these little bars. If you had calculated a 95% confidence interval, drag that on there, but you don't need to do that because you're gonna see the graph of the scientist's data. So just click save and continue. And then it says compare your results. So here is the real results. And here are your error bars and 95% confidence intervals. And then here are my two different anole species. So you're going to take a screenshot of that, um, do a caption, and then answer these questions, answer some discussion questions, and then that is it for the year. You are done. So I hope you enjoy this lizard lab. It's kind of cool. If you're bored and you want to do some more, you can do module three where you can measure their skeletons and look to see did they evolve shorter limbs when they were moved to a different island with different kinds of plants growing there. So enjoy, and I will see you in class. Bye-bye.